Choosing a walk of life was an easy decision for Florida State University alumnus Ben Ford. I had a high school mentor who was an electrical engineer. I have an uncle that's an electrical engineer. It was something I've always been around and it's always been intriguing to me. Through Florida State's Panama City campus, Ford earned his degree in electrical engineering, and now he's employed by ITT, a Defense Department contractor with a regional facility just a few miles from Florida State's campus. Uh, ITT uh, locally in Panama City is, is a mine defense systems organization that designs and builds uh, undersea systems, surface systems that counter the mine threat uh, for, for the Navy to, to um, like storm the beaches, if you will, um, clear the path for uh, the Navy. With endeavors like that, ITT needs more engineers like Ben Ford. You, you flatten the load shape up this way. And now, thanks to Florida State, they'll be able to find them without even leaving the region. We are pleased to announce today Florida State recently shared big news, a half million dollar grant from the National Science Foundation to expand engineering educational opportunities. Specifically, the funding will create 30 scholarships for engineering students at Florida State's Panama City campus. We are very excited that this will help us uh, to grow our programs. It will help us to increase the quantity and quality of the students we have in our programs. And we are very excited. The engineering program at FSU Panama City is less than a decade old, but it's growing by leaps and bounds and will make a huge jump forward thanks to this NSF grant. I think it's possible that even though the engineering programs are some of the newest programs on our campus, 10 or 20 years from now it may be that this campus is known more for engineering than anything else. This is a very good day for FSU Panama City. And the days ahead will be even better. State-of-the-art engineering labs will be part of the campus's new academic center, scheduled to open in the spring of 2009. Meanwhile, at places like ITT, employers like Matt Miller are well aware that FSU PC's rise up the engineering ranks is key for a corporation and a community that has a growing workforce need for local engineers. If you go outside of the state, as we have, to hire some of the engineers, um, you have to introduce not only the, the change in state and, and the change in geography, but it, it's a whole cultural difference too. And if you employ the local culture, it's a lot easier to integrate those new employees into the organization. New employees like Ben Ford, who engineered a smooth transition from college to the workforce, just like his classmates. Everyone out of my graduating class is employed. Most of them are with uh, defense contractors because we have the Navy base here who is a major uh, employer and there's many different defense contractors in this area. And soon many more engineers, thanks to FSU Panama City and its 30 new scholarships, which will be awarded to engineering students starting in the fall of 2009. What they projected is if you get a lineal